Ozzy here from cleverprogrammer.com. I know free code camp is absolutely amazing, so I just decided to come on here, jump on it, and just run through it a little bit. And based on your guys' feedback, maybe we'll continue this series. If uh, there is no feedback, we won't. Just as simple as that. So let's just jump into it. Okay, this is going over some HTML stuff. What is HTML? HTML is what lets you see everything that you see on the internet. So the text over here on this side that I'm highlighting is written in HTML. Uh, on the right hand side, it's showing you an example of how HTML works. Um, and let me just show you. So for example, you see this hello is wrapped in something called tags. And uh, specifically, these are actually H1 tags. It also stands for header one tags. Now, if I remove these tags, it'll turn into regular text that you're used to seeing. And it's going to be written very small here on the cell phone. Very, very small. But now let's wrap this bad boy in uh, an H1 tag. And you'll see that it becomes big. Now, what if I took this thing and did header six? Okay, that's um, header six tag. And you see it's pretty small. So header six is the smallest header size and header one is the biggest header size, okay? Um, generally, when I'm using header sizes, I'll go with header two. Very few times I'll actually use header one. Uh, a lot of the times it helps me when I'm writing my blog posts. You know, I'll put something in header two and I'll say something like, what programming language should I learn first, which is one of my videos. If you haven't watched it, go watch it because it's awesome. And then right underneath it, I'll open a paragraph tag and I'll be like, hey, world, uh, what is up? You know, and here I'll just kind of write my paragraph. So these are also called paragraph tags. And when you're writing paragraphs, you should put it within these tags. It's kind of nice. Now, what's cool about these tags is that you can even have the stuff like this and be writing here. Um, but as you can see on the right hand side, it all looks like it's kind of on the, as if you were almost writing it all on one line. So you might as well just put a, the here in this location. Um, but because it's wrapped up in P tags, it really doesn't matter where it is because this P tag, the closing P tag, knows of its location and puts it right there, which is kind of nice if you ask me because then stuff can't get messed up real easily. You know, like you'll take something from Word document, try to copy paste it somewhere else, and you know all that highlighting and all that beautiful stuff that you did gets all screwed up. Well, that does not happen here because it's written in code. And when you copy paste this code pretty much anywhere else where this code gets accepted, it all works just fine. Now, let me show you an example of HTML where actually you can have it on your own computer and write your own file where actually it'll fire up in the browser and look really sexy for you. And it will look super nice and you can actually go ahead, play around with it and add some more features and functionality to it. So for example, let's uh, go and open up some regular text editor, okay? Um, I have Sublime Text. You don't need Sublime Text, um, but if you want, get Sublime Text. That's cool, you know, and all the developers and all the cool guys and cool girls use it. So I'm going to just write um, hello world in here, okay? And I'm going to close it with the H1 tags. I'm going to save it as uh, hello.html, and let's call it CP for a clever programmer. And Remember to save it as a .html file, and I'm actually going to save it, um, I don't know, let's save it in the desktop. I have a lot of stuff in the desktop, but let's just save it there. So here, I saved it, um, and it understands this HTML, which is why it highlighted the H1 so gorgeously. And let's just go over here, open a new tab, and we are going to go to desktop hello underscore cp dot html and you can actually see that file right there right that's pretty cool but what is even cooler than that well let me show you so let me actually put this on the right side of the screen let me put this html file on the left side of the screen and let me add things to this so let's say i say um what is up you know something like that close the p tags save the file go over here refresh and that stuff is there now let's say I want to take an image and add it. So let's uh, look up, uh, I don't know, coding. No, 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 not coding for entrepreneurs. Coding, um, just that's it. So I'm going to look that up. And I'm going to go to images and let's take whatever image we find. So let's say we find this image, right? Pretty cool image. And we are going to copy the link of that image, okay? 
here's the link to that image. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to embed this image well, or, or make a link of this image. And that's pretty easy to do. We do H H ref, put it in here, and then we just close that tag. Okay, close that tag. But in between this tag, we can put something interesting. We can say, click here for coding uh, image. Okay, something like that. We'll save, we'll go back to our website, we'll hit refresh, and you see the link is here. Now when you click that link, it actually takes you to this coding image. How cool is that? Pretty, pretty cool, I think. So that's how you add you know, your, your HTML tags or whatever, okay? And in the next video, I'll show you guys some other stuff. Let me know what you guys think of this video. You guys like my face not being in it. If you like this more, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. So I hide my face more and I give you guys just some juicy, juicy information. All right. Let me know what you guys think of this format. I just need some feedback and I'll be sure to add some more of this goodness. Take care. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.